This body of work is all about the ocean. It's called refuge because I think, you know, another word for refuge is, you know, sanctuary or safety, or retreating. It's probably just every, what everyone's doing or feeling like they need. I'm sure I'm not the only person at the moment that feels like they need a little bit of refuge from what the last couple of years has thrown at us all. I enjoy being out on the water. That for me is a really important kind of refuge. I'm just really interested in the way the water works and I'm always finding, I guess, that refuge in pretty much looking at the water, being on the water, sometimes in the water. On a, a deeper level, it's probably looking forward to things at the end of really challenging times. I'm a healthcare worker and the last three years for Everyone's been challenging, but it's a particular type of challenge if you work in health and what we've had to do. So it's, it's an escape on multiple levels, probably. It's, it's, a, it's an escape to actually paint. <laughs> it's an escape to get out onto the water and to lose yourself in what's happening on the water. Even though when you're sailing, you are supposed to be concentrating on your job. It's the wake of the boat. You know, we look behind us, we look to see what's happening and who's tacking and who's doing what in a race. And meanwhile, I'm looking over the edge at all of the light interacting with the water. I guess a lot of the sailing that I've done, not all of it, but a lot of it is at twilight. There are just moments out on Corio Bay that just take your breath away. You really do just stop and think, we're so lucky to be out here. From a certain angle at certain times on the bay, just is catching that last light. It's very green at the moment. I, I don't know what that's about. So I'm really, I guess, absorbing that and trying to bring that back into the studio. For these paintings, there is no photo reference. There are no source photos, there are no sketches. I see them almost like downloading the experience. So they're not perfect, but I like the ambiguity and I can't imagine doing it from a photo. And obviously I can't do it from the boat. <laughs> I like the actual motion of the painting. I guess I see the line as part of the movement that I need to put into the painting. Sometimes it's good to have source photos, but for this body of work, there has not been a single photo taken, which my skipper is happy about. <laughs> The bits of light at the top of the paintings where it's you know receding into the distance and a bit ambiguous is really inspired by those moments when we're sailing where there's just these glinting light on the surface of the water. And it's often very warm light because it's late in the day. It's just beautiful and it doesn't, I never stop being fascinated by it. It is just hot, you know, catch your breath kind of moment for me. 